Okay, now we have question 13a. Alright, the scale is 1 is to 50,000. So first, 1 cm is to 50,000 cm. Alright, okay. Now, they say the actual distance in kilometers. So I'll start. 1 cm represents 50,000 cm. We simply convert 50,000 into kilometers. Divided by 100 gives you meters. Divided by 1,000 gives you km. So 1 cm will represent... 0 0.5 km now they tell you that the MRT track is 30 cm on the map so 1 cm represents 0 0.5 km so 30 cm will represent how many km we just take 30 multiply by 0 0.5 which we get 15 km so therefore for part A the actual distance is 15 kilometers for part B part B is talking about area so we have an area scale so we start 1 cm represents 0 0.5 km so now in order for me to move from the map scale to area scale we square both sides so what i'll get here is one centimeter square will represent 0, 0.0 okay 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 is 0 0.25 km square like that 1 cm square represents uh, 0 0.25 km square now to find 2.5 km square representing how many cm square on the actual map so i'll take 2.5 divided by 0 0.25 okay and what we'll get is 10 cm square and that is 13 part b now we move on to 13 part C. The area of the lake on the new map is four times its area on the original map. So I'll say that new area on map is equals to 10 times 4 is equals to 40 cm square. Then now we say that 40 cm square G represents 2.5 km square. It's only the area on the map that changes. The area of the lake in real life itself it still remains as 2.5 km square. So if we divide both sides by 40, 1 cm square will represent 0 0.0625 km square. Just now, in order for us to get from the map scale to area scale, we square both sides. Now, the converse is true. If we square root both sides, we can actually get the map scale from the area scale. So now what I'll do is I will square root the 1 cm square here. I square root the 0 0.0625 km square. I get 1 cm okay, representing 0 0.25 km. And if you multiply and that's it, day 1, 1 is to n. Okay, cm, km for map scale, it should be both in the same units. So I will just simply convert the km. Okay, first I times a thousand to get meters, then I times a hundred. So in the end, what I'll get is 1 cm representing 25,000 cm. And which leads me to map scale, 1 is to 25,000. I write it down there. 1 is to 25,000. And that concludes question 13.